It's a division matchup. It's going to be the Houston Astros facing the Milwaukee Brewers all game long here on 2K Sports. The Milwaukee Brewers showcasing the National League battle and hoping to win one in front of their fans. 2K Sports presents our MLB broadcast. So glad you're there. Miller Park continues to bring out the Brewer fans. And here's a look at the starting pitcher for Milwaukee. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be today going against this Houston lineup? This lineup should not be much of a problem for this righty on the mound today. He has some of the best stuff in the game, one of the elite pitchers. He should be able to go through them easily and retire outs. Here's the lineup for the Astros. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, a guy that's been a run producer his entire career, and that's Lance Berkman. And I tell you, watching play makes it so difficult because of the fact that he's a switch hitter. Better left-handed hitter than right-handed hitter. A lot more power from the left side. So look for the manager to try to mix and match in this game. If he comes up in a key situation, make him hit right-handed. Number seven man at the plate. First pitch coming up. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Astros losing last night. They were hoping to take the series after splitting games 1-2. and two. They ended up grabbing one game only against the Mets in New York. Here's the pitch. That's outside. Ball two. They battled all the way in the last one. Deep game. Yeah, and you're hoping that you can just get out of that 12th inning, try to score in the top of the 13th, but it just didn't happen. They take a tough loss. There's a swing and a line drive. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. And now we'll take a quick look at the Brewers. Here's how they line up defensively. Runner on first base, nobody out. Now swing and a shot toward second. The second, there's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Mm -mm -mm, bad throw. He'll hold there at second base. Credit him with a double. Bagwell batting now. Now the Brewers trying to recapture that magic from 2008. That great run to the playoffs. Remember CC Sabathia coming over in that trade at the deadline. What a difference he made. They've got to try to find a way to get back there and get the fans back into it. Man on second, one away. Here's the pitch. A line drive toward short. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Last year, the standings, uh, as far as the Brewers were concerned, never really challenged, Steve. No, and you know what? Now you have the Cincinnati Reds, a much more competitive team. Pitching is the answer. That's what they need to do is continue to improve this pitching staff. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch fastball misses badly that time, 1-0. Well, he's trying to run that fastball low and inside. Just couldn't quite pick up that corner. Didn't get the call. The 1-0 pitch. This is in the air, straight away left. And he's there to retire the sun. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. So the first chance for the Brewers. They're coming right up. Houston starter, let's take a look who's going to be on the mound. Steve, as he gets going against Milwaukee, what do you think his focus is? Well, against a lineup like this, 
Even though you've got a good right-hander on the mound, he's got a chance to have some damage done. He has to believe in damage control. Give up one run, but don't give up a crooked number. Here's the 1-0. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. It was a win last time out for the Brewers. That made it two for three after trading games one and two of the three games set against the Phillies in Philadelphia. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw on the first in time went away. This is the lineup we'll see for the Brewers. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, if you want to see one of the biggest swings in all of baseball, take a look at Prince Fielder in this one today. The guy that goes up there geared to hit the home run, but he's starting to walk a little bit more, and with those walks, hopefully the home run numbers will increase. Have a look at how the Astros line up on the field. One out, nobody on. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Pitch on the way. Here's a slider that misses, one and one. Well, the Astros played well within their division, which would be at least a thought that they might have a shot at the playoffs, but, you know, they weren't even close, so they've got to play better against everybody else. Strike one, two. one pitch, slider, taken for a strike, one and two. Steve, absolutely right about Houston in that division. I mean, they played well against tough clubs including the lights of the uh, Cardinals. Oh, they did, but you know what? They went 5-10 and ten against the Cincinnati Reds, who won the Central, and 8-7 and seven against the Brewers. And he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. Good oh, effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 count. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Here's the pitch. There's a bullet towards third. Throw to first, gets him, and there are two down. The Astros' schedule looks like this. They finish up the Milwaukee series Sunday. Then they'll have home field advantage as they take on the Cardinals and MVP Albert Pujols. That series bound to be competitive. That's a three-game series. Following that, they face Prince Fielder in a series at home against the Brewers, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. Home sweet home for a while here. They'll try to make the most of it. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Ball. Fielder isn't fooled by that one, and Prince has evened up the count. He hit 235 last season against the Astros. Taking right down the middle for a strike, one and two. That contributed offensively in their last game with a couple of RBIs. See if he can't do it again today. Fielder, the ground ball. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Still scoreless in Milwaukee. In the box now, number five spot. 
He'll start us out here in the second. Fastball in there for a called strike. Takes one off the plate to even the count at one. Here's the pitch. A smash to first. It rolls all the way to the wall. That will bring up Lance Berkman. Well, look here. Last year of the National League and where the Houston Astros ended up ranking. Fifth in stolen bases. Twelfth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And the triples numbers, well, they weren't quite what the numbers you'd, you'd want for a team. And it really shows the fact they didn't have the kind of speed necessary to take that extra base. And he's second on the club in runs. Runner on first. Oh. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 oh. delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Oh, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. Now the 1-1. One, one. Berkman fouls it away. Oh. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. That's one away. And they'll hold him at first base. A lot of tough teams in the National League. Let's see where the Houston Astros sit right now. First in walks, sixth in triples, and they ranked in the top ten in ERA. Pitching a major reason why this team wins games. Pitching and defense the key, pitching particularly. Runner at first with one down. The pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Here's the 1-0. Had him out on his front foot that time. It evens the count at 1. Apparently, he's looking for something a lot harder than that four-seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. And the pitch out, nothing doing that time. Two one pitch. Strike Slider two. called strike two. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Slowly down the third baseline and foul. Two two pitch. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. Let Slider started at him and broke down and in into the strike zone. Just locked up the hitter. And the upcoming schedule for the Milwaukee Brewers. They'll wrap up this series with Houston Sunday. They'll kick off a series with division rivals, the Reds. That's a team they handled all right the last time up. They'll try for a repeat performance. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And they look forward to a competitive team. The Astros at Minute Maid Park. Two outs and a man on first. Oh, Slider just misses one and all. He's running towards second. Ball two. 
and he is safe at second. Waves at that fastball, two and one. And a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. He delivers. Strike two, two one pitch, and he watches the fastball go by for strike two. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You'll want to go to the corners with that four seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. Foul ball behind home plate. Foul! Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Still scoreless in Milwaukee. Cleanup batter. Do up next. Burnitz up now. He's going to start the second for the home team. Here's the delivery. Ball! Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Right. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Oh. Fastball gets away from him there. Two and one. Here's the two-one. Fastball sails high, three and one. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Hot shot towards the hole. Yeah. And he throws on to first for the out, put away. Oh, look at the teams who led the league at extra base hits last year. Brought to you by State Farm. The D-backs, number one. The Reds, second. In third, the Brewers. The Rockies, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. Well, anytime you have a whole team of guys who can hit for extra bases, it makes the defense spread out so much, and it gives you room to do other things. This team is great at it, one of the best in the league last year, just hitting the balls in gaps, hitting the ball over the wall, and that's why they score so many runs, because they're always in scoring position. Now the 1-0 pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And Berkman pulls it in. Two down here in the inning. Simmons in the batter's box. Base is empty with two outs. He deals. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that gets down the Brewers, their first base hit. Let's take a look at where the Milwaukee Brewers rank in the National League in this early part of the season. First in doubles, second in runs scored, and they're ranked third in team batting average with runners in scoring position. Having that ability to come up with a clutch hit, being able to relax and know that the pressure's more on the pitcher than on the hitter. Cirillo at the plate. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. 
Well, he couldn't have asked for a better pitch. He likes the ball down the middle like every hitter, and he got a fastball. You got to swing the bat. On the way. Hit sharply towards the hole. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Nobody on the board at Miller Park. Well, we're trying to keep warm. Very crisp, chilly afternoon. Players needing just a bit longer to get warmed up today. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. A fastball up in the zone like that, a pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0-2. Oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. Well, his slider can be a buzzsaw. He can break some bats, but right now, they're not making enough contact to break a bat. That's three straight strikeouts. And here in the early part of the season... We have a look at the Central Division standings brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Cubs. In the second spot, it's the Reds. Brewers in third place. The Pirates, fourth place. Cardinals in the fifth position. And wrapping up the list, the Astros. You know, Houston fans try to convince themselves that maybe they could improve this year. But it just hasn't happened as they've struggled once again. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Not in time. Easily safe at first. Well, the pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted. But you see this runner, man, once he left the box, he is flying, and he beats this one out. One out, runner on at first. The first pitch. Well, this is a low and away pitch for ball one. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When well, the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. All the way to the wall. He's on his way to the plate. And he crosses the plate all the way from first base. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Bagwell is batting. This offense is taking some pressure off the pitching at this point, Steve. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. There's some quality at bats right now and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. One out, a runner on at second base. Here's the first pitch. Ball that one. one's going to be outside. Ball one. And it may be early going. They've got a chance though, to maybe put this ball game away and put a little defeatism on the other side. Well, what I really like is their approach at the plate. They're waiting for their pitch, and when they get it, they're driving it, taking advantage of every mistake the pitcher's making. Gets that call at the knees, evens the count of one apiece. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Here it comes. Sharp bite to that slider, one and two. The one-two pitch. You're Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Here's the slider coming right at you in K-Cam. Get a better look at that. It was not a good-looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at bat starts with good swings, and bad at bats end with bad swings. And I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice.
Runner on second and two outs. And here's the first one. Ball. Slider in the dirt. Good block. At the belt, the 1-0. The 1-0 delivery is a fastball. Can't make contact. Strike one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Whoa. Outside for a ball, and it's 2-1. and one. Now He tried to go back door with the curveball right there, but just couldn't catch the outside corner. Now the 2-1 pitch. Line towards second. Molitor throws to first side is retired. One run, third inning. That'll break the scoreless tie. The Astros lead it one to nothing. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's going to be Thomas. Just missed with the fastball. One and oh. The one oh pitch. Strike one. One one on the way. There's a swing and a smash. Catch is made. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It's going to be Manny Ramirez and the Cleveland Indians as they take on the Twins at Target Field. You can catch that game at 2 o'clock Eastern. Really looking forward to calling that game. It's got a chance to be a very interesting matchup between those two teams. Here's Cooper to the plate. One out, base is empty. Strike Swing and a miss, but he was right on it, 0-1. Some guys throw in, some guys pitch in. He pitched in right there to get the strike. Now let's see if he pitches away. And he got good wood up the middle. On to first, two away. Now our State Farm sponsored look at which teams went the yard most last year. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Brewers. Third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. We well, see so many games won with one swing of the bat, and this team last year was one of the best at, it, at hitting the ball out of the ballpark. You make a mistake, they will make you pay. The bottom line is, though, there's no one in this lineup that you think is going to be an easy out because they can all take you out. And that's in there for a strike. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it go by. Pitch on the way. On the ground to second. Number 21 throws to first in time. That's three down. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. The Brewers unable to get on the board. In the box, their third baseman. He'll dig in. Start of the fourth inning. First pitch. Here it comes. Fastball, too low, 1-0. Oh. One oh on the way. Ball. Inside with the fastball, 2-0. Oh. Swing liner back up the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. That will bring up Lance Berkman. Well, a nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. 
Only one batter gets walked more than he does in this lineup. Well, you've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going. I think, Gary, keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Now, Gary, this club, I mean, they, they need to be patient, and he is the guy that sets the tone. He works the count. The pitch. Swing and a liner to left. That's a base hit. Berkman now on board. Good offensive chance here. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And the number seven batter in the box. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. And this is bounced foul to the left side. He delivers. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. Now here comes a runner to the plate. There's the throw. And he scores from second base. They apply the tag. He is out at third. Osmus at the plate. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat right there. He got the job done. When he got his pitch, he knew what to do with it, and he delivered. First pitch on the way. Right. Slider's in there for a called strike. As Ralph Kiner, our old buddy, used to say, you know, good at bats is one where you get production, and that's what they got right there. Yeah, but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Here's the pitch. Ball Outside one. for a ball, one and one Swing and a rocket toward short. One. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. And it rolls around to the top again. Struck out swinging last time. A runner on first with two outs. And the first pitch, Strike put something off, and it swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding changeup. I mean, he makes his living by deceiving the hitter. The pitch Strike takes two. that curve, 0-1 pitch for a strike, 0-2. You well, know, Gary, I mean, the reason he gets so many swings and misses on this pitch is the change in velocity. He'll throw the hard fastball and then pull the string on the changeup. The hitter sees oh. fastball, thinks fastball, gets out in front and swings and misses. Oh. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. Check, swing, strike, three, called. Side retired. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. The Astros lead this one by two. And here's Robin Young. On the base pass, number two in steals in the ball club. And here's the pitch. Line shot into center field. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. That will bring up Prince Fielding. The guy that gets them going offensively. He can move on the bases and seems to find a way to get scoring position. He gets runs across National League's top five leaderboard. Runner on 
first base. Nobody out. Here's Fielder's first look. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Oh. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Ready with a 1-0. And Prince Field is swinging, missing, evens up the count. But Gary, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Here's the pitch. Call fastball, now the count one and two. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think you could catch up to it. Good decision. The one-two on its way. Fielder isn't fooled by that one, and Prince has evened up the count. And that one swung out a miss by Prince Fielder. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. Well, let's take a look at the Milwaukee Brewers and where they ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. Second best in base hits, second in home runs, and an offense that can slug the ball, not settling for singles. They go up there looking to drive it third in the league in slugging percentage. One out man on first. First pitch to him. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 1. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away. And if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. The pitch. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Ball! Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, they threw that pitch right there down and in, just off the plate. Let's see if they come back with another fastball down and away. Here's the pitch. Taps oh. this one foul off to the left. One two pitch coming. Fastball in there, struck him out, out number two. Five pitches to get the job done, pretty fine sequence. That was a great sequence of pitches, and as a hitter, you know you, every time you go up there, you want to try to get a hit or at least make the pitcher work. This one here didn't get it done. Number nine spot at the plate again. 0 for 1 thus far. Runner on first, two away. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Foul ball! Now Osmus sets the target. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike. Going two. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. One and Tries two. to saw him off for that one, but he missed. One and two. The one two on its way. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. No run jet for Milwaukee. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crock and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. Well, flashing some leather over there at first base, doing a nice job getting the runner himself. Clean up man in the box again. Doubled home a run in his last at bat.
Base is empty, one out. First pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Here's the delivery. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that's in plenty of time for the out. Well, nicely done there. Ranges to his right over to second base, able to plant and throw and get the runner. Bagwell gets a turn here. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Base is empty and two down. And here's the first one. Oh, and he checks his swing. They'll call that one a strike. The appeal goes to first. He did. And so with that, he'll step in and try his luck again. The pitch. Ball. Slider misses. One ball, one strike. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. The 1-1. One, one. And he looks at a slider in there, and it's 1-2 and two now. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Holds off on the slider. Two and two. Boy, that one is stung up the middle. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Houston, two, Milwaukee, nothing. Simmons has a turn in the box. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the fifth. Here's the first pitch. Fastball just misses, 1-0. Gary, okay, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game, and you know they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. Strike Called ball. strike on the outside corner, and it's one and one. Oh, it's a quality fastball right there, just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. One one pitch. Slider can't find the zone. Two and one. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding slider. Such a tough pitch to hit. It almost needs a turn signal when he gets to the plate. Strike Lays two. off that fastball. It's a call strike. Two and two. Well, Gary, talk about his slider. What makes it so tough to hit him is that the break on that pitch is so big and it's so hard, it's very tough on the hitter to center the ball. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Well, the longer you get in that bat, the harder it is to focus. Most guys don't see this many pitches, so they're not used to it. But give the hitter and the pitcher credit. They're both battling. The 3-2 pitch. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. Number one, the Reds. The Rockies in second. Third spot, the Brewers. Fourth, D-backs. And number five, the Phillies rounded up.
Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. You know, everyone says, well, they get on second base a lot, they score runs, but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get. That's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful. The 1-0 pitch. And he takes a strike on that fastball, 1-1. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. The pitch. Strike Waves two. at a fastball on that 1-1 pitch. Strike two. The 1-2 pitch. Try to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Smash towards the middle. He catches that, and that's out number two. Now this shortstop makes it look easy, but there's nothing easy about that. Those hard line drives often are like knuckleballs coming at him, but he made the play. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch. Strike the 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. He deals. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that three up, three down inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. Here's Cooper to the plate. He bounced out his last time. Gary, when you're trailing, you don't want to run into outs, but they have good speed now at first base. It may not be a bad idea to try to steal and get a runner in scoring position. He delivers. Ball. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. The 1-1 one, one now. That misses down in the zone. 2-1. and one. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. Fastball gets away from him there, and it's three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Come set. The 3-1 delivery. Ball four. Lost him. Ball four. Potential tying run is on. He went with a fastball and three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. And Molitor's in the box. Now, two outs in the inning. You put the tying run on base with a base on balls. Not what you want to do because that also means the guy at the plate is the go-ahead run. Big mistake. Two men on and two men out. And the first pitch. Ball. Gets in front, stopped it, it's in the dirt. And Steve, what he's got to do now, you want to get this final out right here. Uh, you got to be very careful right here. You know, you don't want to say, hey, I walked the guy, let me throw one right over the plate and get ahead, because the hitter was sitting on a pitch down the middle. A 1-0 now. Down and away for ball two. Well, this late in the ball game, up over 20 pitches in this inning alone, and it makes you wonder how much longer they can keep him in this ball game. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. And Thomas will score. 
Now pitcher making a mistake right here, leaving it right over the heart of the plate. He squares it up, drives it. Good contact at the plate to drive in a run. Most of those kind of pitchers are going to get hit. That's an RBI knock. Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. Ball. Fast ball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Ball Fast ball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. On the way. That one's drilled to short. And that's going to be another hit for them. And he comes home. That's it. We are tied. Okay, the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Here's Prince Fielder now with the RBI opportunity. Whoa, it is happening now. It may be a little late, but then again, they've got momentum, Steve. I came up big in that critical situation, Gary. Good at bat right there. Now he's tied it up. Two men on and two men out. Spins, checks him at second. Just trying to keep him honest over there. They better be careful, Gary, with him on second base. He can run. And he has the ability to read the pitcher and get a good jump as well. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Just checking my contract, Steve. It says here I'm obligated to say this is a brand new ball game. Since when do you follow what you're contractually obligated to say? And either way, either way, momentum has shifted to us. Swings, and there's a the drive high in the air. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. You're going to wear out your arm in a hurry if you throw 28 pitches as he did to get three outs. We've got a stalemate going here in Milwaukee. Gonzalez at the plate. First pitch, here it comes. And that's too low, 1-0. Oh. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. Here's the pitch. It's fouled away. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. Let's see this curve again. Well, they went away right there, and he put a pretty good swing on it, but just couldn't quite make contact. Walking back to the dugout now. Base is empty with one away. Here's the first pitch. Strike Called strike in the inner half, 0-1. 
Well, that's a nice pitch right there to pound the hitter in, tie his hands up so he can't drive the ball. This wow. one's grounded near third, foul. Slider that time ruled the ball one and two good spot there just down a little bit out of the zone tried to get him to chase he wouldn't go for it he sends this one in the air towards center and that is in there the go ahead run on board and he's in at second with a double one out. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. One out, Lance Berkman will stand in. A disappointing season in 2009 for Lance Berkman. Let's see what can happen this year because he has the potential to be an all-star, but he has to turn it around quick. First one to Bergman. Here's the pitch. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. You know, John Bergman struggled to hit for power, and the trade to the Yankees didn't help because he wasn't playing every day. He wasn't playing every day, and I really do think that he's lost his stroke a little bit. He just doesn't have that bat coming through the zone nearly like I've seen in the past. Swing and lined up the middle, and it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And the run gets in. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in his swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Now their rookie center fielder. Now you always hope you can get this offense going late in the ball game. They have, and they've got a lead. Gary, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? Ball Can't one. get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. Steve, exactly right. you got to believe what they're thinking about is put away time now. Well, that's right. It's not just about the offense. It's going to be about their pitching as well. They're going to win as a team or lose as a team. Let's see if they can win as a team. Two away. Asmus at the plate. Lined out last time up. Berkman's on at first. Here's the delivery. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider swung on a missed 0 and 2. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Ball. Tried to get him to go after that slider, but it's 1 and 2. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. Hard slider misses two and two. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Foul straight back. This is a slider in there called strike three. That'll do it. Well, they score once on two hits. One man left. Houston takes this new lead into the next half inning.
And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. Bernitz gets a shot here. And he lays off one low, 1-0. One oh. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball low, 2-0. is right at his head. You have to have great command and control as a pitcher. Sometimes you throw a pitch off the plate to send a message. He threw it exactly where he wanted to in that situation. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. He threw that one off the plate, maybe guessing that the guy had a green light 3-0, but he's got to find the strike zone again. In the box again, their left fielder. Oh, Gary, that walk right there is the tying run in this game. That's not how you want to make the opposition do it. Make them earn it. No one out and a runner on first. And the first pitch. Oh, called what? strike from Rodriguez. Count is 0-1. Stevie knows he's really got a pitch now. He's put himself in a situation where he's really bought pressure on himself. Uh, you know, these are the type of things you get really big on you right here. It's about damage control. I know you put the tying run out, but you've got to oh. bear down right here. That one is going to miss. Low for a ball, 1-1. Well, if he wants a strikeout, he's going to the curveball. It's one of those ones he could break down in the dirt. He gets so many swings on it, but he's got to trust his catcher. Comes set, now the 1-1. One, one. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's 1-2. and two. We don't see many pitchers, Steve, what we're talking about here, where their best pitch is that big breaking curveball. Well, I tell you, that's why they teach young kids in the minor leagues. They teach all of them how to throw a curveball because it is a put-away pitch. The pitch. Curveball got him one away. Let's see the K cam on this 12 6 curveball. It's down in the zone, but it's definitely a hittable pitch. Looks like the pitcher just caught him looking for something else, and it threw off his timing. Outstanding work right there, John. And uh, for the rest of the lineup, maybe they'll be second guessing the next time around when they face him, especially with two strikes. Simmons is the batter. Well, Wandy Rodriguez didn't quite have the magic wand he'd had in 2009, but still put together a solid season for 2010 for the Houston Astros. Runner at first with one down. The first pitch. Fastball is high, 1-0. As John said for Rodriguez, a little tough on the year going 11-12. But he's a better pitcher than that. Steve probably showed it later in the year. Oh, yeah. Slow start to a season, but a 2.11 ERA after the All-Star break. Command of the fastball critical. When he starts to throw and try to get the ball up in the zone, he gets in trouble. When he takes a little bit off, but he can throw strikes is when he's effective. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Tremendous situation now for Milwaukee. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. Runners on first and second with one out. Here's the pitch. A swing line to left center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And he will score from second base. Another run comes in right behind him. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Take a moment to check out how much that two-bagger helps their cause. Here's the win expectancy graph. 
Steve looked like he had to go down to get that one. That's a, that's a big, tough hit. Well, I tell you, he's battling at the plate. That's an outstanding at bat, the way he goes down on that ball, picking up two big runs here. It's going to be Thomas. Steve, really good vibes here. Hitting is contagious, and when you do it late in a ball game and get a lead as they have, great stuff. You know, Gary, that at bat we just saw could prove to be the most critical at bat in this ball game as they've now taken the lead. Could be one of those situations that uh, decides the ball game. Right now it looks like their offense is ready to start clicking. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. Now, Gary, as you were saying, that was one of those situations where they had the opportunity and they capitalized. And this offense does look like it's heating up. Let's see if they can keep it going here. Ball! Low, and it's one and two. Ball Breaking two. ball misses for a 2 2. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Rodriguez with the delivery. You're out! Swung on, miss, curveball, struck him out, two down. That's a hard-biting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in play, swung right through. Here's a look at the teams who got it done last year at the plate, brought to you by State Farm. The Reds, number one. The Cardinals in second. The Rockies, third. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. One of the top hitting teams in baseball last year will be on display in this game today. And these guys, when they step out of the dugout, they're swinging the bats. These guys can put the ball in play, and they all hit for a high average. First pitch on the way. Swung on, that is hit. They score two runs, two hits, one left on. The Brewers gaining the upper hand here. Number two spot in the lineup up again. And Giovanni Gallardo is the pitcher as they make the pitching swap. Ball Can't one. get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Uh, down by one. Nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and, and get a little bit of a rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and then maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. A swing and a ball hit high and deep. Down the line and right as he retreats back for it and gets the up. Well, you have to figure coming in off the bench a little bit, you want to see a pitch or two, but when you get it, you got to be aggressive. See if you can do something to get on base and get a rally started. Well, another successful year for Gallardo. You remember in 2008, he had the knee injury, came back and tried to pitch oh. and help his team. 2009 he was great 2010 even better his era up a little bit but he strikes out guys and he goes deep into games and he saves a bullpen and when you have a bullpen like the brewers you really need that fastball swung on couldn't connect 101 question for him is going to be can he have a consistent season where he keeps that era at at the number that's respectable. He struggled with that last year. The well, second half of the season, an ERA close to six, and too many runners on base, and that's that consistency. He's a young guy that has to learn conditioning in the offseason, going to be very important to sustain his stuff throughout the course of 162 games. Here's the 2-1 pitch, up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one, straight back up the middle. But what an at-bat right there. You know, you're talking about a guy coming off the bench cold. It's one of the toughest things to do in all of baseball, and he made it look easy. Rookie right fielder stands in. Ground out victim last time through. Well, definitely going to have to hold the runner close at first base. He can run. And boy, if he gets a second base, he's in scoring position and could tie this one up. Straight away left. Two away. Bagwell settles in. 0 for 3 to this point.
Two outs and a man on first. Pitch on the way. Lined right at the second baseman. Throw, got him. That is one heck of a play. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. Brewers still enjoying this lead. And Molitor's in the box. He'll start the home half of the seventh. Rodriguez with the delivery. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary. Hitting the spots and with great velocity. Swing, hot shot. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. A runner on first, no outs. Now the first pitch. Strike Paints one. the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Here's the pitch. Strike Swung down. on the fastball. Couldn't get to it. 0-2. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. Here it comes. This one's bounced ever so slowly to left foul. And that's another foul ball. Well, even though he took a defensive swing right there, that might have been a pitch he could drive. But you know what? With two strikes, you just have to battle and battle and battle and hope he gets one down in the zone. You can just drop the head of the bat on. One-two pitch coming. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. One away. League leaders in on-base percentage last year, courtesy of State Farm. Joey Votto, number one. Second, Albert Pujols. Third is Prince Fielder. Adrian Gonzalez, fourth. And fifth best, Matt Holliday. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit, or they'll take a walk. Look here, you can look at it a couple ways. You can say, look, we've got the lead. Let's play for another big hit here. Or you can turn it on, put the pedal to the metal, and keep the offense going. I want to see him run. I think this is the time to get him going. Here's the pitch. Fielder lays off for a strike. Let's see what he's going to do 0-2. The hitter's got to be guessing right now. Swing and a miss. Strike him out with a breaking ball. Two down. Well, he chases the breaking ball for strike three right there. you got to lay off it. Burnett gets a turn here. Last time he walked and then came around to score. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch. Ball! And Rodriguez misses outside, taken for a ball. Watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 101. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away.
Here's the pitch. Ball Breaking two. ball. Can't find the zone. Two and one. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. And Berkman's there. And there's the third out. And heading to the dugout, Wandy Rodriguez. And we'll see the Astros coming up next. He to the lineup coming to the plate. Gonzalez at the plate. Struck out swinging his last time up. First pitch on the way. Boy, fastball, that one in the dirt. He lays off that. Now the 1 0 pitch. One. He watches this one right down the middle, 1 and 1. Well, you go to the eighth inning right here, and obviously the game getting much shorter here. Two innings left in this one, and you've got the one run lead, but you have to go out there and try to get something going and force them to put the ball in play. Do not give free passes. Do not let them get on base easily. And it's in there, the tying run on board. Well, what a great way to get things started. Leading off the inning with the double. Put yourself in scoring position early. Up now their rookie third baseman. He doubled and later scored in his last go-around. Second base occupied. Nobody out yet. The first pitch. Oh. And that runs high. 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. And that's off the plate. Away. Ball two. On the way. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. One away. Now the runner will have to hold it second. Well, the hitter just missed this one. He's going to want to have this one back. The left fielder able to range back and put it away. And here's Lance Berkman. He hit uh, 350. That's 350 last year against the Brewers games here at Miller Park. They're going to have to keep close tabs in that runner at second base. The pitcher's going to have to make him stop in his lead because if he gets the third base, he's only 90 feet away from scoring. Now their center fielder at the plate popped out of foul territory last time. One out with runners at first and second. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. Two men have been put away. That's a big second out right there, holding on to a slim lead. Now he's got a chance to get out of this thing without any major trouble. Oh, this is a biggie right here. A great matchup right now, Gary. Hasn't gotten a hit yet today. We'll see what he can do here. Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it's in there. Oh, that one did not come too soon for him. He's had a very tough offensive day. 
And he scores, and we are tied. Let's see what the RBI means for the win expectancy. Well, that pitch was upstairs, but he went up there and got it. Well, a nice piece of hitting got up on top of that ball and drove it. And the number eight spot rolls around. Steve, this lineup, wow, have they been able to create some opportunities? They are executing. They've got it tied. Now, Gary, we just saw a quality at bat. They capitalized on the opportunity. And now an opportunity to pull ahead here in this game. So outstanding clutch hitting. This one just about gets it. I know a lot of pitchers like to pitch inside if they feel like the hitter's diving out over the plate, but I don't know what he was thinking right there. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. And, and this is where all the errors and or, in this case, the positives really shine because you haven't got a lot of room left. You know, Gary, now if they can manufacture a run and take the lead, it could make all the difference and lead to a victory. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they pick up a run on two hits and they leave a couple. We've got a stalemate going here in Milwaukee. Middle of the lineup, due up. And their rookie left fielder at the plate. Rodriguez with the delivery. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Now, big break on this curveball. He starts it in the strike zone, but it falls right out of the zone. Good eye by the hitter not to chase it. Here's the 1-0. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning. And that's exactly what he did with that double. State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at the teams with the most runs produced from last year's season. Number one, the Reds. The Phillies in second. The Rockies third. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Braves rounded out. Well, this is a pitcher's dream. When you have an offense like this on your side, you know you're going to get a ton of runs. Oh, he's going to try to steal third. He is safe at third. That's over as well, and it's quickly nothing and two. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. The pitch. Swung on, line softly to the right. And that looks like an RBI and a single. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. Cirillo up at the plate. Steve, really good vibes here. Hitting is contagious, and when you do it late in a ball game and get a lead as they have, it's great stuff. Well, they needed that one right there, Gary. That was a big at bat. Now they have the lead. Now they're looking to add on to it, too. Take the pressure off the late inning pitcher. No one out and a runner on first. First pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Bullpen always happy to have as big a lead as they can get going into the late innings. But, uh, hey, at least they got themselves a lead. No, you're right. Managers don't mind it too much either. But they want to keep piling on right here. They'll like it even more that way. Swung on and ripped towards second. Got one. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play.
Well, you'll take base runners any way you can get them, and sometimes you don't have to have the prettiest swing to be effective. This infield single right here might get this team started. One down, runner at first. And the first pitch. Ball! And Rodriguez misses outside, taken for a ball. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Pitch on the way. 1-0 pitch, a curve. It's in there, 1-1. Well, this is an awfully tough pitch to hit right there. He put it exactly where he wanted to with that big break on it. Awfully tough on the hitter. The 1-1. One one. Frozen on the changeup, and it's 1-2 and two now. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. The one two on its way. Two two. The one two is a fastball inside, two and two. Ball. Brings that curveball just about at him, but it's full. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. Two down, and he'll have to hold at first. I thought this had a chance of going out of the park, but it came off the bat, but it just died out there. Along the right fielder, they able to get to the wall and make the play. Here's Cooper to the plate. Lined out last time up. Runner on first, two away. Now the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. On the outside corner, one and one. When in doubt, go down and away. He throws the slider exactly where he wants to. Tough pitch to hit. Strike Swings two. for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a one-two count. Here it comes. That one swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. And that'll do it as Berkman puts it away. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The Brewers gaining the upper hand here. It's going to be Reynolds now. The pitch. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Oh. Well, coming down to the wire right here, it's do or die time. You need base runners. Get somebody on. If you get the leadoff man on, it allows you to move him up with a bunt. To sacrifice bunt, you can get him on, get him over, and get him in. This is a critical situation. And he takes a strike on that fastball, 1-1. One, one. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. The 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-1 one, one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on, but unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike. The hitter couldn't swing the bat. You're fastball up. in there. Called third strike. One up. Well, K-Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. 
and couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. He came right back with another fastball, John. But you see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that heater right now. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Ball one. Here's the 1 0. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Thomas able to pull that one in. Now we're counting down right here. They got one out left in this game. And I think offensively, you're hoping for that long ball, but you've got you'll take anything. Give a base runner. Get somebody on. Two out spaces empty. Here's the first pitch. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. The 1-0 pitch. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Here's the delivery. Strike one. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball, but he missed. Strike one. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. Wow. Line drive fouled off towards first. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. A very good team effort all around by Milwaukee. They played solid baseball from top to bottom and come away with the victory. Always like to recognize the player of the game, and we've got one today. And he had everything working today in this game. Keeping the hitters off balance, that's the way you pitch. His off-speed pitch is complementing his fastball. Everything was working, and that's why they got him for performances like this. And, Gary, that's why we named him our player of the game. And, Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. So, for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.